Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. You guys know what we're talking about today. That is the next upcoming promo in FIFA Ultimate Team released today by the loading screen that we are about to see as you go into FIFA 20, and that is Future Stars. Car design is interesting. I'll say that right off the bat. That is an interesting car design. It looks like it has a little bit of 3D flair again to it at the top. But that's a way different car design than what they're used than what we are used to. So I don't know if it means any significance right now, but we'll find out probably in the next couple of days. But that promo is coming Friday at 6 p.m. UK. So again, another promo. We have had like back to back to back promos after Team of the Year with the headliners for basically a week and a half, two weeks. And now we're leading into future stars, which they've been doing this now. Um, for a while. They've been doing this now for the last couple of promos where they release multiple loading screens. I would go and assume that we're going to start getting hints on loading screens today and tomorrow and even probably another one Friday as we get closer and closer to the promo like they did with um, headliners. I would expect to see a lot of that because they're really, really trying to pump up these promos uh, via the graphics and via that sort of stuff loading screens or whatever that they're putting out so i would expect to see some of that stuff in the next coming days just a heads up on that but what is future stars i want to talk about this for a second or two uh for this time this is the page last year when they put them out and last year they actually did multiple loading screens last year for this promo because it was a brand new promo in fifa 19 it caused a lot of panic on the market because it was new it was an amazing idea and i think this this promo last year as its first year was just done so spectacularly that everybody loved it and i think this was the number one favorite promo out of everybody at least in the fifa community on twitter the guys that seriously play this game i think this promo was probably the most excited people got just because of the new concept the idea and the player selection and the boost. It was so, so cool to see these guys get the huge boost that they got last year during Future Stars. So what is Future Stars? It's a definitive list of breakout stars for 2019. The squad of Wonder Kids are on the cusp of breaking into football mainstream this season. So it was a squad of 21 with massive, massive boost. And we're going to go back and take a look at the full team and show you some of the boost in a minute. Um, but we also had, and I'm going to show you this, the first day, it was either the first day or the second day, they released a player pick as well. So these were the cards right here. This is like the nominee, I guess, design on the cards. And then this was the final card design with the with more green in the background. The foot 19 was green. But for these nominees, it was not green. Uh, and then obviously we know who won this player pick. It was St. Maximin. He won and he got himself. That was actually a really cool SBC card. I ended up doing that SBC last year. Um, but we did have a player pick SBC first day. A little more information. Who is eligible to be a future star? Prospects who are 23 or younger that have shown high potential but have not yet come become established global stars. So somebody who got in last year that definitely won't get in this year is probably a guy like Trent. Yeah, obviously he's in team of the year. Jad and Sancho probably not getting in. Havertz probably not getting in. Um, who else is in here? Uh, Delict definitely is not getting in for this year. And I don't think that we'll see any repeat guys from last year. Although some of these guys you could still consider like a rising star, like a Phil Foden is probably still a rising star in my opinion. Um, who else? Who else would be a, a rising star? Clivert as well. I haven't heard a ton about him. Calvert-Lewin. Some of these guys are still rising stars and future stars, but I don't think they will get re-released this year. I think we're going to, we have a ton of, of new players that have, are up and coming. It, it's always like that. And that's why this promo is so good because it really relates to just a different area of of IRL football and IRL soccer for you US guys like me that we can relate to, right? Young players that are growing up for our teams that have showed promise and that are starting to get playing time and who could be huge stars in the future. So how are the ratings determined? This is really a broad question when you look at the answer. They basically just say, we can do whatever we want. Inspired by the FIFA database, each foot star's rating is based on what the player could become if they live up to their hype and fulfill their potential future. So basically EA says, how good we think this guy is going to be. So they're the only ones that go into this, it seems to me. They just make the ratings on how much hype they want it to be. Then why aren't plump young players like Mbappe, Rashford, and Gabriel Jesus in this squad? Because they're already on the world stage, yada yada. So 
again, we know what this promo is about. It was new last year, and I'm really curious to see what they do this year with these cards. That's not the, what we want to see. We want to see this right here. Last year's Future Stars squad. And I want to show you. Now, Awar was one of the top guys of the promo. And we're going to talk about some guys that could get into this, this year's Future Stars squad a little bit. But I want to just show you the some of the boosts that we got on these cards. So I think Awar had this inform last year, but let's just look at base upgrades, right? From Awar's base non-rare gold card, goes from a 78 to a 91. The man goes 8, plus 8 pace, plus 21 shooting, 12 passing, 13 dribbling, 17 defense, and 13 physical. They juiced the crap out of these cards because most of them didn't have any other special cards, right? Here's another one, Ganduzi. Again, doozy. I love this card last year. People used him for the rest of the game. He was so good. And look at these stats, man. Plus 20 dribbling, 20 defense, plus 23 shooting. He got plus 20 basically all around, going from a 67 rated silver all the way to an 87 rated gold. Plus 20 literally in every single statistic almost on this card. Unbelievable. That's why this promo was so good and it caught us off guard last year. And that's why you saw a lot of panic on the market with Team of the Years dropping and stuff like that. That's why this promo is so cool because these cards are usable. You can slot them into your team right away. And EA is smart. They know that they need to pick people and players that are rising stars for big teams. Look at the starting 11. Uh, we have Barcelona. We have Real Madrid. We have Manchester City. We have Juventus, a.k.a. Piemonte Calcio. We have Dortmund. We have Liverpool. Actually, I was surprised when looking back on the squad last year, there were only two, three, only three Premier League players in the entire squad, Ganduzi, Alexander Arnold, and Phil Foden. The Serie A actually dominated this, this squad last year with Clivert, so we have one, Calabria two, Lafont three, um, who else is in here? Bentancur four, Cutrone five. Five guys from the Serie A last year, I don't think I missed any. And then Bundesliga actually had a, a decent amount as well. One with Hakimi. Two, three, uh, where's the other guy? There's a fourth. Four, five. So there was five Bundesliga as well. So it was Bundesliga and Serie A led last year with the squad. I feel like this year, there's a really, really high chance that we're going to see more Premier League players, especially from the likes of, you know, Chelsea, Manchester United. Um, Tomori, I think, is a very, very high fan favorite to get into this to get into this prediction and to get into the Future Stars promo, you obviously have Reese James, you have Greenwood, uh, you have tons of guys that could get into this promo. Here's a prediction that I found on Twitter that was sent to me, and I want to I want to take a look at this because I think this is a pretty good one. Um, I think this is a pretty good one. Tierney, Danny Olmo, Sar, Ismalia Sar, absolutely. Jao Felix is the biggest one that I want to talk about, though. This card today is a huge going to be the focal point of this promo so i really hope they give him one um of course there's reese james they gave one to hudson adore in this prediction moise keen lol uh valverde is somebody that a lot of people have mentioned of course greenwood or yarzabal would be nice palacios absolutely fabian sure meret i think meret is like the the number one favorite guy for like a young uh future star in goal i think meret is going to be the guy that gets in for that uh but in, in here there's a ton of of this, this if this was the actual squad, player selection would be fantastic. But this is how the cards are going to look if they juice them like last year. They're going to look this good, right? Jao Felix being a 93 rated, that's maybe a bit high. I would say maybe a 90 or 91 for him as the headliner of the promo. But Rodrigo as well, to, to, Todibo. I haven't heard of some of these guys. Saliba, I've heard of him. That would be great. Now, of course, there's plenty other options for these, these cards, right? Like Tamori isn't in the squad. There's plenty of options. And that's what's another fun thing about this promo is that there's just so many options for guys that could get into this promo, right? I, I'm a Spurs fan. Jafet Tanganga, this guy for Spurs, playing phenomenally at the moment. Imagine if this guy gets a Future Stars card. An English center back getting probably around, again, plus 20 in every single statistic or more. The man's going to have upper 80s pace, upper 80s physical and defense. You know, it's just going to be a solid card. And I would probably want to use him as a Spurs fan because he already has 88 jumping. That would be maxed out probably. 73 strength. Crazy, right? That's why this promo is so cool because you get to use cards. This is like using silvers in FIFA's year past. Years back in FIFA, like FIFA 15, when you could actually use silvers. 
This is like using silvers in the these days of FIFA. They have to boost them so that they actually play good in game. But you get to use these new cards that you never have gotten to use before just because they're low they've been low rated and they're not good in this game. And so far, with the introduction of foot champions in the into this game, FIFA Ultimate Team, it has changed the way people play foot because they don't play it now for fun. It's just been pushed so competitive. And so I have to be 100% on my game with the best team, meta players all the time. And this kind of brings us back to fun. And that's why this Future Stars promo is so cool and why everybody loves it. And it was like the number one favorite promo last year on foot. So I'm super duper excited for this promo this year. I hope you guys are too. And it's coming Friday. So we have a little bit of time to prepare. I want to talk about a few things market wise. Will we see panic? this week and i think the easy and plain and simple answer to that is yes we will i'm not entirely sure how much because you have to think about it this way the market still has a decent amount of coins people might lose a, a few coins this week if they're selling teams selling cards and stuff like that but i think this market is still pretty rich if you look at card prices across the market if you look at what people are willing to pay right now for sbc fodder people are still doing sbcs when the SBC fodder is still stupid expensive at the moment because of all the SBCs that we got during headliners. So I'm watching a lot of these cards. You know, we have guys that we have to talk about for Lewandowski tomorrow, possibly getting in team of the week uh, and getting a boost. I mean, obviously Illicic is one of those, but you see the icons are still pretty high. You see the informs are, are still being paid at a premium. Uh, and you also see just special cards are still really high, right? This is the, a lot of the stuff that we talked about pre- um, what I talked about pre team of the year was like basically just buy everything before team of the year, because what's going to happen after that is it's going to balloon. Let's look at a very popular meta card like Salah, right? Salah already has another special card after team of the year. Um, but after team of the year, which he actually hasn't gone up that much team of the year is right here. Boom. He goes from 330 all the way up to 400. He's now 423k. That maybe wasn't the best example. Um, but a ton of these past team of the week cards, what about like Mertens, right? Of course, Mertens got panic sold for, um, his headliner card. So I'm picking two pretty suspect examples here, but Mertens was 258 during team of the year. And he's all the way back up to 322 and now back down because of the future star a little bit, but a lot of stuff, if we look at other informs as well, stuff has just boomed again. And we're in kind of a bubble on the market at this time so all it takes is this big promo with these special cards huge boosts and more sbcs coming this next week for people to sell and i think that selling is going to be starting very very soon today i think we're going to get a loading screen that is going to entail probably some hints or some clues on who might be in this promo right so let's say they maybe hint at somebody like a Zhao felix and i want to talk about this card right now for a minute because Look at this guy's gold card, Zhao Felix, right? He's got the ones to watch, hasn't played that great all year, hasn't got any upgrades. He had the hype early on at the beginning of the year. This card was way expensive early on. And people now say that he's not that good in the game, but people said at the beginning that he was nuts and he was insane. Well, this guy, I would say he is the favorite to be the star headliner in this new promo and he's gonna have so much freaking hype. I'm telling you, if this card is not 90 rated or above, then they didn't juice him enough. High medium work rates, four star weak foot, five star skills. He is the epitome of a future star. Now he is on Atletico Madrid, so he's gotten transferred to the big team, but he hasn't really performed just yet. He's been injured a little bit too. I would expect this guy to get a future stars card and be, I wouldn't be, if they give him a 92 or 93 rated card, we're talking like 90 plus pace, 90 shooting, 90 plus dribbling, 80 plus physical, 80 mids on, on passing. Like we're talking plus 10 to plus 15 boost in every stack category. This card is going to be a monster. And I'm talking this card could be, depending on the pack weight, 93 rated. This might be our Vinicius Jr. of last year, over a million coins. This could be our guy, depending on how much they juice him. But this is the one that everybody's looking at for this promo. So that's my thoughts on that. You might see a million coin Zhao Felix like first day or something like that. That would be nuts. So just keep your eyes out for that. That could be crazy. But uh, for the rest of this, the stuff that could come in this promo, uh, leading up to it, like I was mentioning, you'll probably see another loading screen today. I do expect a little bit of a panic sell and a sell-off. Prime example 
happened already today. James Rodriguez, a card that I normally watch on this game to flip and trade with because it's very rare. This guy is usually around 220 to 230,000 coins. Earlier, just an hour ago, I bought one at 199,000 coins and his cheapest on the market was like 207 or 208, I think. Uh, and now he's fluctuated back up to 220. What I've been seeing since that loading screen came out, and I saw this with another car that I've been flipping recently, Team of the Year Moments, or Team of the Year Nominee, and Golo Kante. Uh, I've been seeing these guys start to fluctuate in price a lot. And now Kante's kind of back up to 460, which I have mine, I have one listed right now at 460, I believe. There's one with a 454 bid on it. But these guys have started fluctuating a lot because people, they come in waves, right? These are out of pack special cards. People are going to see more information about these these future stars coming out every day, and there's going to be a little bit of a panic sell. You know, they're going to go down, and they might recover a tiny bit, and there's just going to be open bids, and it's a really good sign to see, and that shows you that there is some panic going on when you start to see open bids. I didn't see a ton of open bids today, but I saw some people getting out of cards on open bids. That's not an open bid. Let's see if we have any other open bids here on Kante. Headed back to the 59th. Of course, it's glitched out. But when you start seeing open bids on this type of stuff and people just listing cards up to get coins, undercuts, stuff like that, that is the definition and the epitome of panic selling. And I think that if you're somebody who wants to try out players in this promo, you want to get liquid and have your coins, we might be getting to a point on the market in, in this game, at least for the next week or so, where the bubble bursts a little bit, right? We're kind of waiting for that mid icon SBC. Is it going to come Friday? We're also going to get a new season with new icon swaps and new objectives. So that's going to be coming possibly a team of the week SBC. Who knows? We're going to see today a new team of the week. Um, and that right there could also be a factor as a part of this promo. If we see a massive team of the week, if Neymar gets in, if Lewandowski gets in, uh, and like all the guys, if Merton gets Mertens gets in as well with the upgrade to the headliner card, if those guys get in, all three of those, that would be crazy, first of all. Second of all, that would trigger my spidey senses for a Team of the Week SBC for this promo. Because I feel like we had a ton of coin suck last week during this promo with all the SBCs that came out. We even got another one today after headliners is technically over. But this SBC is a coin suck. We had so many other like... Players that are still out, actually. Leroy Sané moments. But all the headliner SBCs, all the moments cards, all the flashbacks, those were coin suck SBCs. And EA is trying to drain coins off this game. And I think they're going to do that exact same thing with the Future Stars promo. So I would expect more panic selling this week. Things to watch this week. Now, some of you guys have already started investing in some of these things. I'm not a huge fan of this, to be honest. Investing in the winter upgrade stuff. Investing in winter upgrades like Ricardo Pereira was like 62 or 63k. He's up like 10,000 coins almost in the last like few days, I think, to be honest. This guy was right around 60k. Now he's up at 70. People have started investing for these winter upgrades already. Prime example is Timo Werner. Timo Werner was 100,000 coins coming out of this weekend's weekend league. 100k. The man is now up to like 125 for his 85 rated inform because people are starting to buy into this stuff because they think it's getting a winter upgrade. Yes, it is getting a winter upgrade, but we have time before that's coming, all right? If you bought some of these cards, I would take the money because I think there is absolutely a chance where these cards get panic sold because people are going to have their investments. They're going to want coins for this promo. They're going to sell cards so that they have coins and then so they can actually do stuff on this game. And I don't see winter upgrades coming yet. I don't see those coming yet. So that's why I would take the money if you bought into winter upgrade stuff or if that stuff is up. I would take the coins because I think that stuff is going to drop and it'll be an opportunity to reinvest as we head out of the Future Stars promo and into, again, the next thoughts about the winter upgrade period. Another perfect example of this is Roberto Firmino. This guy went up a bunch today and it makes sense because his hero card is 200,000 coins. He's doing upgrade. This card should get upgraded. That's why he saw his price jump like 10, 15, 20K, whatever it was uh, today with the Roberto Firmino card. So if you bought some of that stuff, I would take the coins just to be safe as we do head into some panic selling later on this week. So for panic selling, I wouldn't invest in stuff yet. Wait until we see with what the team comes out with. That's going to be an interesting thing to look at. I'm going to be doing more research based on what happened last year with these cards, and we're going to talk more about it 
in this upcoming week. Um, but I do want to take you guys through really quick the SBCs that we got last year because I can't forget this. This is very important as well. Last year, we had multiple player SBCs. We had Joe Gomez. We had Frankie DeYoung and Tengai Ndombele. Those were the guys that we had. Joe Ellington as well and Alfonso Davies. We had a lot of SBCs last year for this promo. Um, they basically did what they did with headliners. They did last year with um, these cards. Tons of SBCs. Uh, we had a flashback Rooney. Is that what right here? Flashback Rooney. He came out. Um, and then a bunch of the Future Stars challenges. And then we had 81 plus double upgrades as well, which I infamously packed. Uh, the Vinicius Jr. 92 rated card. Called him Vinicius. There's, uh, if you want to see a clip of that video, just go on my Twitch chat. There is a, a command in my Twitch chat for that video on YouTube of me packing Vinicius Jr. and calling him Vinicus. So this promo is a throwback and a flashback to one of my favorite times on foot of last year anyway. But we get a lot of SPCs during this promo as well. So there's a ton of possibility and a ton of hype around this promo. And I think we're just starting to see some of the information for it. EA will probably again update a loading screen for today. Uh, new team of the week today as well. So I, that's the last thing I want to talk about. I keep saying last thing. This video is going to go too long. But Lewandowski, right? If you have a Lewandowski, this is the gamble that you're looking at right now. You're looking at this card is like 950K, 960. Is that what he's at? 950K for this card right now. If he gets upgraded, does he go over a mil? It's possible. Does he stay there though with the new promo coming out? Probably not. If you're one person to, to not play the odds and you want to take the safe route, which is always the good move on this game, in my opinion, take the safe route, sell your Lewa for 960, 970 if you can tomorrow morning before team of the week. You know, you probably bought him at 800K or below. You're making some really solid profit on that card. Take the money and we go again. You're liquid. You're ready for the future stars promo. Same thing with Ilicic. Same thing with Mertens. For those guys, I would take the money beforehand. And one little slight investment tip again. I'm going to shout Jao Felix again. I shouted this on my Twitch live stream. Jao Felix wants to watch is an interesting one for me. Right now, for the fact that he's 40,000 coins. This card is 40, 39K. You know what? I'm going to pick up a second under 40K. Chuck it on my transfer list. This isn't something to go crazy on, but I club stocked one and I'm now going to have one extra. It's not a lot of coins. If you have anywhere over 500K, Buy one, chuck it in your club. If he gets a future stars, I think that card could boom. Not boom, but maybe go to like 55 or 60K because if his top card in the game is over a mil or like 800 to 900K for a Jao Felix future stars 90 something rated card, his next best card is the 80, what is this, 80 rated, 82 rated, the 80 rated uh, live once to watch card. A lot of people are not going to be able to afford that beast version the new version, Future Stars, Jao Felix. I do think this card could rise. You see that a lot. A person gets an inform, it rises the hype just for that player. You see the other informs below it rise up in price. So that's one I would do. I would just buy one, chuck it in the club. It's 40K, right? It's almost like a discard inform investment and it's a live item. So all of a sudden he scores a goal that could be 60, 70K anyway. So I like that investment right there. It's the lowest that card's ever been. Just chuck one in the club and go from there. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, Future Stars is coming. Hit the thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And we're going to talk a lot about Future Stars in the upcoming days on this channel. If you enjoyed it again, smash the thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.